This man will not back down from these tyrants. And I love it. We're gonna do a scan of the vehicle, so you don't mind uh, step out of the vehicle. Uh, what, for what? To have I been suspected of committing a crime? We, we can scan any vehicle we want as long as we're But ready. have I suspected of you committing a crime? for a legal reason. So just That's, a That's a traffic stop. That's a traffic issue. So do me a favor, step out of the vehicle. Write me a ticket me a favor, so I can go by my way. I'm not vehicle. stepping out the vehicle, bro. I didn't you do nothing. Step out of the vehicle I didn't do absolutely I'm nothing. Telling you to step out of the if you pull me out of this vehicle, I'm gonna file a lawsuit, bro. You violate I'm my rights. If you don't step out, I will I'm telling you. Well, you gonna have to take me out. I'm not. I'm not vehicle. legally getting out my vehicle when I haven't done anything wrong. I just came from my house, get gas, got me a soda, got my oil changed. I don't know why y'all keep pulling me over. I'm out here working because I'm in a in union i drive the other car you pull me over in it you pull my old lady over in it all right well if you step it's just out, ridiculous if you step out we're gonna scan the car for, what, you what you gonna scan the car you for you can look and see all there right. ain't nothing in the car no i'm not giving you nothing okay then step out of the vehicle no i'm step not i'm telling vehicle. you pull me out of the car you f***ing up that's all i'm telling you you're making a big mistake well, you're making a big mistake i done been through this plenty of my life i'm not stepping out of this by now i'm not stepping out of I, that's my right, dude. Oh, stay tuned. There's way more to this that you'll want to see. Roll the intro. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Well, here's the deal. But here's the deal. So here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. All right, we're going to take a look at this video. It comes from the One Love ENT channel. If you are inclined to or you have a propensity to be triggered by massive injustice, maybe this isn't the video for you. But I want to go over this. And this is a commentary, so I will be interrupting because there are some important things that need to be addressed. People will look at this as just, hey, it's a minor traffic stop. Everything's fine. There's nothing wrong here. They're just trying to keep the roadways safe. But let me ask you this. What is supposed to be the supreme law of the land? Like the highest law. There's no other law above it. What is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be the Constitution of the United States. That's supposed to be the law that governs the actions of every public official in this land. But what is truly the supreme law of the land? I mean, as it's, as it's lived out, practically speaking, what is the top dog law of the land? It is traffic law. Traffic law trumps individual rights. It trumps the Constitution. It trumps the Fourth Amendment. It trumps the Second Amendment. If you don't believe this is true, then try driving away after a cop stops you. You're not free to drive away. Try not pulling over when they, they light you up behind you. It, they're not going to let you go. You have lost all of your freedoms and you are at the mercy of of what many would call psychopaths, and we'll go over that. I, I claim, and I say a lot of times in these videos, that these cops are psychopaths. They have psychopathic tendencies. Well, I'm gonna show you the clinical definition of a psychopath. It's basically an antisocial personality disorder, and we'll get into some characteristics in a minute, but I wanna play this video, and we're gonna make some comments along the way because I really think that we all need to be sensitized to the fact that, hey, if anybody, any man violates another man's freedom, it has to be called out and we as a society have to get together and do something about it. They call all these police for fucking nothing. Tell me I pulled the fuck out the fucking sheets parking lot when there's fucking oncoming traffic time I ain't make a complete stop. Why when I fucking make a complete stop when there's oncoming traffic, that just sounds fucking stupid. He pulled in the fucking parking lot the whole time, right, watching me. We're gonna do a scan of the vehicle, so if you don't and mind, step out of the vehicle. Okay? Um, what for what? To Have I been suspected of committing a crime? We we can scan any vehicle we want. As we we can scan any vehicle we want as long as. We're but we're have I suspected of? We can scan any vehicle we want. The smugness, the entitlement, the arrogance of this cop. 
This man literally believes that he has the right to stop another man and search his property in violation of his Fourth Amendment rights. And this guy, you know, this cop, these cops took an oath to the Constitution to protect and defend this guy's rights. And they're doing the exact opposite. You Come in the crown. for a legal reason. So that's a traffic stop. Favor. That's a traffic stop. issue. Do me a favor, step out the vehicle. Write me a ticket me favor, so I can go by my way. I'm not vehicle. stepping out the vehicle, bro. I didn't you do nothing. I didn't do because absolutely I'm nothing. You to step out the if you pull me out of this vehicle, I'm going to file a lawsuit, bro. You violate no my rights. Do if you don't step out, I will I'm telling you. Out of the car. Well, you're going to have to take me out. I'm not I'm not legally getting out my vehicle when I haven't done anything wrong. Absolutely nothing. I was pulled over the other morning going to work. Okay. For my headlight, right? Okay. I fixed it. You want to check it? I fixed it. If you can okay. pull that up, I fixed the headlight. Okay. I just Absolutely. came from I just came from my house, get gas, got me a soda, got my oil change. Okay. I seen you pulling to the fucking sheets, eyeballing the car the whole time. I don't know why y'all keep pulling me over. I'm out here working because I'm in a fucking union. That's why I got Mississippi okay. tags. That's the whole reason you pulling me over. A productive member of society. Let's get the context right here. A productive member of society who actually has a job, who's benefiting society by his putting in his time and his labor is being interrupted and harassed by people who are destructive members of society. This is what's going on here. Drive the other car, you pull me over in it. You pull my old lady over in it. All right, well, if you it's just out, ridiculous. If you step out, we're going to scan the car. For, what you, what you going to scan the car you for? You can look and see there ain't nothing in the car. Okay. Are you giving me consent to search the vehicle? No, I'm not giving you nothing. <laughs> okay, then step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Out of the call your supervisor, out of the man. Call your supervisor. Step out of the vehicle. I want to speak to your supervisor, please. Yeah. Call your supervisor. Yeah. Call your supervisor. Yeah. Call your supervisor. I'm telling you, pull me out of the car, you fucking up. That's all I'm telling you. My people's working with Clay. Yeah. Now, people make the point that what's in play right here is basically Pennsylvania versus Mims, that a, a cop has the right to pull you out of the car because the Supreme Court says you have the right. Hey, there is nothing in the Fourth Amendment, by the way, Supreme Court. There's nothing in the Fourth Amendment that says that, hey, you have the right to be secure in your person's house's papers and effects unless a cop tells you you need to step out of your personal effects. Unless a cop feels like he's, his safety is in jeopardy, like Terry v. Ohio. It says, Pennsylvania versus Mims is a United States Supreme Court criminal law decision holding that a police officer ordering a person out of a car following a traffic stop and conducting a pad down to check for weapons did not violate the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution. I strongly disagree. What, do you, what about you? Do you agree with this or disagree? Basically, Pennsylvania versus Mims trumps the Fourth Amendment is what the Supreme Court says. And the Supreme Court is supposed to be there to uphold the Constitution. And we know that time after time, they do the exact opposite. So Pennsylvania versus Mims trumps individual rights. Terry v. Ohio basically says officer safety trumps individual rights, and it is the supreme law of the land, not this silly Fourth Amendment stuff. So an officer can definitely tell you, hey, you need to step out of the car. And if you don't, you've disobeyed a lawful command. It is utter nonsense. We literally live in the land of the fee and the home of the slave. In McLean, Virginia, I'm telling you, you pull me out of the car, you're fucking up. You're making a big mistake. Well, the issue is... You're making a big mistake. for a legal reason. You stopped me because you said I pulled up. No, you didn't come to the car. You didn't come to the car and said, sir, you smell like alcohol. You smell like marijuana. None of that. None of that. You just go to your car telling me I pull, you pulling me out for a traffic stop. Go to your car and then 10 police pull up like I'm supposed to be scared or something. I didn't been through this plenty in my life. I'm not stepping out of shit. I'm not stepping out of shit. That's my right, dude. You don't know your you don't I'm done talking. I'm done talking. You step out of the car now? I'm, I'm not stepping out of shit. No. No. Okay. Give me your supervisor. Let me and him way. talk. All right, cool. Your sergeant, whoever's in charge. Okay. It's bullshit. Step out of the vehicle, I'm not stepping out of shit. Once I step out of the vehicle, I lose my rights. What I'm not rights? stupid. What rights? What rights would you Whatever, lose? dude. Obviously You're being recorded. Rights. We're being recorded, so what rights would you lose? They are literally clueless. 
Either they know what rights they're going to lose and they're lying to themselves and other people, or they are absolutely clueless. This right here is an example where they're not moralists. Cops are not moralists. They're conformists. A conformist does what he's told regardless of what is right, but a moralist would do what is right regardless of what he's told. And what they're doing right here is absolutely not right. Let me show you this right here. This comes from WebMD. So uh, what's the difference between a sociopath and a psychopath? I'm just going to go ahead and go through the definition of a psychopath right here. And you tell me if that fits the mentality of what we know as law enforcement officers. If you have antisocial personality disorder, you may act in ways that go against socially acceptable standards. Would it be socially acceptable for you to pull people over and harass them and tell them they need to get out of the car and, and, and threaten them if they don't get out of the car or to give somebody a command and say, Hey, this is lawful. My, my homeowners association agrees with me and there's three, 230 members in there. So because they agree, I have the authority and you need to do what I say. And if you don't do what I say, then I'm going to punish you. That sounds pretty socially unacceptable to me. You may break laws. Who breaks laws more than anybody you know? The cops break the laws and feel little or no guilt when you do something wrong. Here's some of the markers. Lie to or trick others for personal gain. Commit crimes. Is it not a crime to interfere with somebody and interject yourself into their life when you're not wanted there? I would say it is because you're actually leaving an, a real victim. You're threatening them. You're terrorizing them. You're harassing them. You're doing to them what you wouldn't want done to you. Disregard rules or the safety of others. Yeah, they disregard their own rules all the time. I can't tell you how many cops I've witnessed blow through red lights and stop signs without their lights on or speed down the road faster than you ever would. 20, 30, 40 miles an hour over the speed limit. But if you go seven miles an hour over the speed limit, they're quick to give you that ticket but they won't give tickets to their fellow blue line gang members who also transgress the law. Act impulsively or aggressively. Yep, we've seen that. Act coldly toward others, just like this guy. What rights are we violating? We're not violating your rights. Lie about both big and little things. Have few, if any, close relationships. Have trouble keeping a job or doing schoolwork. Take unneeded risks. According to FBI crime statistics, cops are 40% more likely than other people in the general society to be domestic abusers. And that really says everything you need to know about the psychopathy and the internal workings of the mentality of people who join the law enforcement community. I know I am. That's my right too. Okay. So I wrote. Let me roll down the window for him, so he can see. He can smell. Everything's clean. This is my work vehicle. You see my fishing poles. I like to fish. We've been fishing. I'm about to go buy me a boat soon. Where you been fishing at? We're terrorizing you, but we're gonna act like we're your friend right now. Where you been fishing at? Fishing good over there? Hey, what's going on? What kind of fishing pole do you use? And then they all they try to act like your friend when they're sitting there involved in actions that show they're your enemy. We're in the wrong button there, buddy. Yeah, look in there. Ain't nothing in here but work shit, tools, fishing poles, a battery from my truck that I just sold, charge it up for this guy. That's it. How many cops are on the scene here? We have already got one, two, three. The fourth one passed. The supervisor's coming. That'll be five. There's another guy on the other side that just talked to him, that's six. The guy who's gonna bring the dog around, that's seven. So again, we have another case where there's not one good cop on the scene because if there was that one good cop, he would say, guys, he's got a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in this person's house, papers and effects, and we shouldn't even be out here conducting traffic stops. We should be out there actually taking care of real crime, murderers, rapists, thieves. I don't do nothing. Whatever y'all perception is, why y'all keep pulling me over, it's gonna stop. After today, it's don't so stop. Rules, I follow traffic rules. I f well, if I haven't followed traffic rules, check my driving record. Check my driving record. Just that that that, that tells you a lot. If I haven't, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Y'all on sixty eight every all day. Okay. So I follow my traffic rules, dude. So I have so wait a second. This cop just said he doesn't write tickets, but he's the one who initiated the traffic stop. What's the reason for initiating traffic stop? stops if you're not the one writing tickets I have way more tickets y'all just fucking with me for no reason which i'm with it because i need some money free money okay. you want to give it to me i'm gonna get it so i don't need the money i work for a living no you don't no you don't i haven't did anything wrong sir 
I haven't did anything wrong. I let y'all slide on, on eight, uh, six date when y'all pulled me and my little girl out of the car one night. I let y'all have that. That officer, he's no longer working with you guys. I let y'all have that. I let y'all have I didn't fight. And I really had y'all to the left then. Dead to the left. I didn't. My auntie told me, she said, but I'm not getting out the car, man. I ain't did nothing. What you want me to do? I have a warrant? All right, then. I ain't did nothing. I haven't did listen nothing. To me and I'll explain this. I'm listening. The reason we want you out of the vehicle is because it is their, is their policy that the occupants of the vehicle have to be out of the vehicle while they do the canines. There you go. Policy. Our department policy trumps your individual rights. You have to comply. See this guy sitting in the driver's seat right here? He is actually exhibiting far more bravery than all of these cops put together because he's willing to sit there because he knows he has done nothing wrong. He hasn't committed a crime. He hasn't left a victim. He knows he's being harassed and he's standing not only for his own rights, but for the rights of every single one of us who one day will be sitting in that driver's seat and we will be harassed by cops like this. What they doing the K-9 scan for? We can scan any vehicle we want. For we can scan any vehicle we for want. For what? So why didn't... We can scan any vehicle we want. We can violate anybody's rights. We can pull you over anytime we want. What arrogance. What evil. What lack of justice. What criminality. And the lady that uh, pulled me over there the morning, why didn't she do the same process? I have no idea. I wasn't there. And my headlight was out. And I haven't it's done anything officers. wrong. Anything. Different officers. Hey, you went back there, back there eyeballing me and, and go around the corner. You would have seen me. MSP. The dog ain't alert nothing. He came to the... They pulled me over for... It's just an illegal stop, sir. If you're the sergeant or the lieutenant... It's an immoral stop. It's an unconstitutional stop. It may be a legal stop. Pennsylvania versus MIMS may be legal, but it's unconstitutional. It's immoral. Terry of the Ohio may be legal. You know, slavery used to be legal. That didn't make it right. Just because something's legal doesn't make it right, doesn't make it moral. Just because something's illegal doesn't make it wrong, doesn't make it immoral. He said he pulled me over because I didn't stop coming out of sheets, which is stupid. There's traffic coming. Why wouldn't I stop, sir? Why wouldn't I stop? First of all, the, he pulled in looking at my vehicle while I'm pumping gas. We're not argue the Are you the sergeant? I am. If he stopped you for not stopping, then that's the problem cause for what we're doing. <clears throat> this is a traffic stop. Why can't he just write me a ticket and I go? See, there he goes. That's, that's what they use as justification. The traffic stop gives them probable cause under the Fourth Amendment, and that's how they can justify to themselves, hey, we're not violating the Fourth Amendment because the probable cause is that you didn't you didn't do something right according to the traffic code. You know what that makes? That makes the traffic code above the Constitution because that's the justification. That's their higher power. That's their God that they appeal to. This is our probable cause right here is traffic safety. Go by my way. For what though? For what is the reason? What do we typically run a dog around the car for? Drugs. Okay, but he haven't said anything about drugs when he comes to the car. He and there's another thing. The drug war trumps individual rights. The drug war, which was conceived in the mind of Harry Anslinger as this racist way to get at black people. It's still with us since 1971. How long is that? 53 years? 52, 53 years? It's not a war on drugs, it's a war on people, and it gives the cops another justification to violate your rights. So that's another thing that's above the supreme law of the land. You have the drug war and you have traffic law, and they'll use those as justifications to take away your rights. He never said once he suspected me doing anything, sir. Why, why is it necessary nothing. for us to argue about this? <laughs> It's not if you have if you have nothing in because here, if I'm telling you I have done anything wrong and he's saying that I have okay. it's his word against mine. Okay. I haven't done so, anything. So then if you have nothing, absolutely nothing. nothing. About, you can let them do their job here and you can go about your business. They can scan the car around. I'm not getting out though. Once the dog alerts, they get alert, they get it ain't going to alert. Well, that that you just automatically saying the dog's no, going to alert. Not, uh, you're That's what now, you're saying. Now you're you're on camera. Words. I said if no. What's the, why are you arguing with us? It's like the carjacker going, going, you know what? I'm taking your car. Why are you sitting there arguing with me?
It's like the thief breaking into your home at three o'clock in the morning. I'm going to take this precious vase. Why are you arguing with me? What's the deal here? What's the, why do you have a problem with what I'm doing? The criminal is going to the person who's innocent saying, why are you treating us like we're the bad guys? Uh, because you're the bad guys. You're pretty much telling me that. That's I said, if the dog alerts, that's, you that's got like it. you're pretty much saying, what up? You, you're just telling me what you're going to do. Weather away, <laughs> it don't matter what y'all do, man. There's nothing in the vehicle. Can you, can you at least turn your ignition off for me? There's nothing in the vehicle, so you're okay. just going to want to so violate my rights. You have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and violate them. Man, he is standing firm. I love this guy. Yes, it is. You, you're just going to violate the right. You can open the back door and let them in if you want. Here goes the dog. Never, ever tell them to open your door and let a dog into your car. Never, ever. Never give any consent. You can open the door and let them in. They certainly put the canine around the car, y'all. This is what reason? Ridiculous. I don't know. This is ridiculous. Didn't say anything about nothing when he pulled me over, but all of a sudden he want me out of my vehicle to search my car when I have done anything wrong. Nothing. Yep. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is my work vehicle. I fish in it. I work on people's shit. I just got an oil change. Look. Just got an oil change. Recent, just 10 minutes ago. And he gonna tell me I pull out of the sheets without stopping when there's f***ing oncoming traffic. What sense does that make? You tell me. This is America we living in, right? Where you been fishing at? Ain't we good? This is America. This is bullshit. <laughs> this cop trying to act like, where you been fishing at? It's, it, I, I equate it to the same as a rapist or a murderer or a carjacker or a thief. It's like, why are you talking to me about all this stuff while you're violating me? Why would I engage in a discussion with you about where I'm fishing when you're taking away my rights, when you're putting my life in jeopardy, when you're harassing me, when you're keeping me from doing productive things? Bullshit. They're going to violate me like this. Bullshit. I'm a taxpaying citizen. This is what we got to deal with in America. It's bullshit. I shouldn't have to go through this. Shouldn't have to go through it. I, I didn't go to work because I was sick today when it got blood work and shit done got my oil changed and now i have to deal with some stupid shit like this Carmel pd no wonder they got the petition out on that big ass officer whoever the fuck he is it's gonna be some more so lawsuit coming free fucking money this by the way sir i've been fishing at jennings randolph lake okay, i'm catching some big ass bass i'm about to go buy me a boat here shortly as soon as y'all let me go and that's how we doing. Yes, sir. I'm the canine guy. Yep. I just scanned the vehicle. He alerted me. Um, I just scanned the vehicle. I just violated your rights. I just made you insecure in your person's houses, papers, and effects. I don't care about my oath. Just like my fellow uh, Thin Blue Line gang members, we don't care about your rights. But I'm going to present myself as, you know, the good guy. No. Yeah, because yeah, obviously now, because I mentioned he was, he didn't. It's bullshit, man. Nothing against you personally. Nothing at all. It, it is against them personally. They have something against you personally, and we should have something against them personally. This isn't just a department. This isn't just a police force. This isn't just this enigmatic law enforcement. This is man against man. And some of those men choose to put on these funny costumes and pretend that they have the authority of the state and pretend that they're God that they're God over you and that they have more rights and they have more privileges and they have more immunities. This is personal. It's just the way y'all treat people out here for absolutely nothing is fucking ridiculous. And it has nothing to you do with you personally. Through, be careful. Hmm? You got a bus coming through. What's your officer? What's your name, sir? Baluch, B-A-L-U-C-H. He's been cool. You can finish what you was telling me. Uh, so. Sorry, uh, oh, good, cut you off, bro. So like I said, dog didn't alert to the vehicle, but I always interview anybody after I scan whether the dog alerts or not, Yeah. just because I want to make sure the dog's doing what he's supposed to. So there's never been any, any drugs in the car, nothing like that. <laughs> no. I don't answer those questions, officer. There's never been any drugs in the car. What, what do you expect the guy to say? Oh yeah, man. I, I mean, I just got done with the shipment from Columbia last week, but you know, it's all cleaned out. No. 
All right. That works for me. No drugs in the car, sir. This is my work car. Where you work at? I work for Triton Construction. You see that that um one way they putting in downtown? Mm. Uh, down, down in Baltimore. They put we putting in a one way street. They're acting all friendly now. Well, our roadside piracy operation is over and we came up with nothing. We tried to strong arm you. We tried to threaten you. We tried to intimidate you a bit. You know, you wouldn't budge. So the best we could get out of it was you got to turn your engine off and we're going to run the dog around your vehicle. I work yep. for that company, okay. oh, but I'm, okay. on, I'm on the Hagerstown side. We're this building is, the bridge out on 70. No shit. Yes. Is this a fleet vehicle then? What do you mean by that? Like i just seen the Missouri place you from. Missouri. No, it's Mississippi Taz. I'm with oh, the union, so okay. I travel for work. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate I'm it. I'm free to go? No, they, well, they, they also be with the air thing. Oh, okay. But as far as the dog stuff, you're, you're done. They just have to finish your warning or whatever they're doing. And then you're Thank done. you, sir. No, nah, they don't need to give me no warning. He need to write me a fucking ticket. Because they keep giving me warnings, but he keeps saying I keep violating the law. Right, so, so, sorry, your warning here. That's oh, so another warning. Uh, I've done nothing. Uh, I don't feel like that. Well, another warning. He tickets, but here's your warning. Yep. Here's your information. Oh. Yep. Have a good day. Yep. I'm on my way to the precinct now. God damn it. File me a lawsuit. Checking out, guys. Thank you. They ended up with nothing because this guy stood on his rights. You shouldn't have to be hassled and hang on to your rights in the midst of law enforcement tyranny in the land. You shouldn't have to do this. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to leave the link to One Love ENT in the description. Go visit him. Let him know how you think he did. I think he did a great job other than, you know, saying, hey, go ahead and put the dog in the car. You know, never, ever give your consent. Never, ever drop your guard. Always stand for your rights against the law enforcement agents who are there to violate your rights. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification icon. Give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel, the links are in the description and you can become a channel member and grab one of these hard hitting conversation starting shirts. You can get a design in any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. Remember, freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having it. I'll see you in the next video.